Hey gamers, how's it going? How's it hanging? Is Rockhawk64? Thanks for subscribing, Hatuli. How's everyone doing? Oh boy. I am... I am one full guy. <laughs> I overdid it on lunch today. Um, besides that, uh, today... Would have been, I believe, the third annual... Or fourth annual? I don't remember. Make Sonic R day trend on Twitter, except, y you know, Twitter. So, what can you do? I just thought I had some of that music going right here. So let's go ahead, let's bounce right back in. Did some Resident Evil 2 and see what we can accomplish today. See what we can accomplish today. Alright, let me see here. Let me see here. Where did I put my duck station? There we go. That's the ticket. Yeah, so I, I kind of overdid it a bit at lunch. Um, don't tell Senko, but I ordered myself some Chinese food for lunch instead of just, you know, having a sandwich or something, and... Here's the thing, you, you see a Chinese place, you see they have a lunch menu, right? And you expect the lunch menu to be, um... You know, lunch menu foods to be smaller portions than their, their dinner menu stuff or their usual menu stuff. So I order a lunch... lunch menu, um... Black pepper pork, fried rice, and an egg roll. You know, as you do. And in addition to that, I also got, like, another order of egg rolls, because I love egg rolls, and I figure I would just be having a lunch lunch menu, you know, size. So I get the food here, the food's here, I get it, and you know, you know how if you go to, like, if you get carry out from, like, um... What's the place called? Panda Express? It's in one of those clamshell containers. You know, the the three um, portions all in there with each other, uh, but they don't fill it very high at all. Imagine that, except instead of barely filling it, they like fill it up to the top to the point where the thing can barely close. There was enough food for like two and a half people in there from that lunch, that lunch size order. And in addition to that, I had I had extra egg rolls because I ordered more. Oh my! It was oh. I got I guess I got lucky. It was cheap for a lot of food. The problem is I, I can't have food in front of me and then just not eat it all. You know, the smart thing would have been to put half of it away. But of course, I'm not a very smart guy. So instead, I sat there and I ate the whole damn thing. All that fried rice, all that black pepper pork, all of it, down the gullet, all the egg rolls. And I've been full ever since lunch, uh, like the past seven hours, my stomach has just felt like a, a brick. I wanted it to be a small, tiny lunch portion. I wanted it to be not enough food. Instead, I was given a shit ton of everything. And don't get me wrong, it was good, but... Oh, man. I could have put half that away and had another meal tomorrow. Ugh. And I'm so damn full now. What can you do? What can you do? Okay, I believe we can put these stones over in the, uh... The police chief's office now. It still hurts in my gut right now. Oh! Hello. Sherry, you're okay. Hello. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Don't look at me. Oh, I have control now. Why, why does the police chief have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven portraits of like Charlie Chaplin lining his wall? It's kind of weird. I don't know why he did this. I don't know why he would do such a thing. 
Anyway, let's go ahead and put these in. There we go. All right, I got all three amiibos. Now I can unlock extra ammo. Oh! I can't believe the thing I did on purpose caused the thing to happen on purpose. All right, mail to the chief. He's a stupid fucking asshole. To Mr. Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative, Albert Wesker. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members, Redfield, Valentine, Burton, Chambers, and Vickers. If it comes to light that the STARS have any evidence as to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor their progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Birkin rhymes with Gherkin. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the Raccoon City Police Department, I have deposited the amount of $10,000 to the account for your services this term as per our agreement. The development of the G-Virus scheduled to replace the T-Virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the Executive Board for Umbrella Inc. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project. Continue to monitor their activities and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facilities. William Birkin rhymes with squirt squirtin. To Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of the B Raccoon City Police Department, we have a problem. I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me, as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through Annette. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus, not even Umbrella. William Birkin rhymes with twerkin. Thanks, Chief. This must be the special place. Claire! Go away! I'm busy! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Stay here where the giant monster is. Stay here where the enormous fucker is waiting to pound your head into mush with his pinky toe. This elevator doesn't even have any music. I get two loading screens. One, two. Hello? Is there anybody here? Can I check my inventory? Okay, I checked it. He's gonna come from, like, anywhere at this point. Like, it's too quiet here. He's gonna come. He's, he's going to come. I know he is. Why, why are there, like, shackles on the walls? Why, why is this, like, a fucking... The Skyrim dungeon now? What is this? I'm gonna find a- I'm gonna find a wood elf in here. <laughs> what? So you've made it this far. Hello? Not bad, girl. But I'm not letting- Oh no! My town. Claire, Everyone's you have a grenade launcher, shoot him! Calm down, Chief. What happened? What happened? Shut up! No. You couldn't possibly understand what's happened. Claire, you also have a gun. In fact, yours is larger! my beautiful town. How could they do that to me after everything I've done for them? So it's true. You have been working with Umbrella. Claire, you can also move faster than him. He's fat. What is it? Tell me. If you must know, it's the agent that can turn humans into the ultimate bioweapons. Superior to the T-Virus Claire, you're, you're also wearing two pairs of shorts. You're more well protected than he is. Why have you not shot him yet? Sure His hand is down. Shoot him now! This little girl running around here somewhere. Sherry, isn't it? 
In case you haven't already figured it out, the monster that's been tearing my precinct apart is yet another product of the G-Virus. An ultimate bio weapon. Umbrella must be trying to cover its You see, Claire, now the gun's at pointing at you again, like, that was your chance, what's wrong with you? I'm going to take you with me! Oh no! <laughs> How did he reach him from over there? Oh, hold on, let me bring the game down a little. How did he reach him from over there? Hello? Are you okay, Chief? I'm gonna look at your shelf now. Hmm. Various chemicals and spines. Neat. That's cool. Can I take this saw? I want to take the saw. Of course I can't take the saw. Can I wash my hands? I can't wash my hands. Can I, can I operate? Is there anything I can do in here? Can I take these enormous battle axes? At least let me take this stool. Let me take this stool sample. No? Okay. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Neat. Oh, the bucket. You have to let me take the bucket. Man. This was a game made by Todd. I could take the bucket. Disturbing stuff. Disturbing. Imagine you were watching, like, a horror movie. And there's this part where you're in, like, the, the, the murderous lair. Where he does all his gruesome murdering. But instead of showing all the gruesome stuff he has, the camera's just, just pointed at, at the main character's face. And she says, this is some disturbing stuff. And you never get to see any of it. What do you think of that, Gex? Can we all just get along? I'm sorry, Gex. I'll try to be a little more upbeat. Alright, let's see. Oh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Hey, do you have any cool stuff on you? I should be able to pick up his torso. And like... Hey, Rank Dankus, thanks for subscribing. I should be able to take his torso and like... Slam it onto Claire's head like a helmet. And then I can walk around... Like a four-armed person with a long torso and scare all my enemies. Hmm. Should I go down this hole where the man was pulled down and ripped in half and thrown? Clearly, yes, I'm wearing two pairs of shorts. I am Claire. Hello? Oh my god. Oh, very strong. Oh, very buff. Oh, he can see very many things. I think Claire should be able to... to kind of walk backwards a little quicker. Claire, can you get up? Oh, okay. Gamers, Claire's dead. Claire got her skull beaten in. By a man with an... <laughs> okay, that was unnecessary. Oh boy. Okay, let's. <laughs> God damn it. Uncalled for, completely uncalled for. Oh. Oh, while we're while we're backtracking, remember how um. I brought up, remember how it keeps coming up that I want to do a playthrough of Oblivion, but I want to play through with a specific mod that doesn't exist, so I need to create it. And like, I started on the mod like a few months ago, and then I stopped because... Because you know how it is. So I, I after watching some of those um, videos of that, that Skyrim retrospective, the really long one, which by the way, I, I, I don't know, I, I like his first two better, I feel like the guy... 
feel like the guy became too internet-y in the, in, the, in the Skyrim one. Like, he spends too much time talking about some kind of weird internet argument he had between... He had with another... Another Elder Scrolls video person, and... Uh, I didn't like it as much. Like, the guy's still pretty smart, but I don't like some of the stuff he put in the video. Um, so watching that inspired me to actually go back and try to work on that Oblivion mod again, and... No, I've done... I did the majority of the work that needed to be done last time, in terms of, you know, modeling, with the whole debacle of 3D Max and stuff. But... You know, I still have to do... I figured the rest of the mod would be pretty straightforward. So I pick it up, and immediately the first thing I try to do... Oops, that doesn't work the way I thought it would. Thanks, Todd. <laughs> So I ended up hitting a few more road bumps, picking the mod back up, but... Honestly, after work- after working on them a little bit... I was able to get through a lot of it. Like, here's the thing, a lot of Oblivion modding information is lost to time, it's just not on the internet anymore. And most of it I'm getting from, like, an old Elder Scrolls official page that I'm pretty sure... has been forgotten by Bethesda. But I was actually able to work through those issues pretty quickly, and... Yeah, you joke, Shingo, but I did have to get information on how to make the mod from Lover's Lab as well. Yes, because for some reason a bunch of, of sex porno addicts actually have a decent collection of Elder Scrolls modding information. But yeah, I worked through some of the issues, and honestly... I'm making quick progress. There's there's a very important part of the mod, possibly more important than the actual 3D model that I'm working on right now, and it's going super quickly and pretty much, aside from a few quirks, thanks to Todd's stinky engine, that it's more or less working out. So I actually think I'm going to have this mod done soon, and we'll actually be able to start the Oblivion playthrough soon. So look forward to that. I'm almost fucking done. I'm almost goddamn done with the mod. Just have to iron out a few details. And I would love to... kind of talk about the bullshit I had to deal with to get this to work. But I want to do it... without spoiling the mod, so I'll probably talk about it after we start the playthrough. I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? So maybe it'll be fun. The thing is, I don't have anywhere near... the, the knowledge for Oblivion than I do of Morrowind. I remember when I was... You know, a young teen, I was excited when I heard that Oblivion was coming. I got it, I played it on the same PC I played Morrowind on, so it wasn't, you know, the most beefy thing. It didn't handle the game very well, but... Even even as a, as, as, as a, as a young teen, like... Hey Siri, when did the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion come out? On it, the Elder Scrolls V... Skyrim was published November 11th, 2000. Siri, never talk to me again, you dumb fucking shithead. I won't respond to that. And I'm not going to continue with what I was saying because I got so mad at that. Um, but yeah. Look forward to th I'm looking forward to that. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. So you've made it this far. Oh, shit. Bad, girl. Uh, what's the button we were I'm using? My town. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, right. Acid rounds. Sometimes this is a, a really silly, stupid thing. But sometimes when I do these these playthroughs of these games, these really cool or important games. Sometimes I have this thought, it's like, you know, am I wasting these games by streaming them? But I only have like 30 viewers max. Shouldn't I wait until I have more viewers? But if I was gonna have more viewers, I probably would have had them by now, so I guess there's nothing to be nothing to be concerned with. Just stream it again. If I ever get 
a real viewership number, and I won't, but if I ever get real viewership numbers, like if I ever start getting ding dong viewership numbers, then yeah, that's probably what, what I would end up doing. I would just start streaming the games already streamed, but again. Haha. <laughs> You missed. Oh. Well, let's go back down now. Excuse me. Oh, nice hit, idiot. Stupid moron. There's no time to offer. Excuse me, what? There's no time to press a button? Broke her back. Okay, this time, okay, the area that he ripped the fucking uh, pipe off of, I think we have to try jumping down there, so. We'll give that a shot. Give it a shot. I'm a little annoyed that she wouldn't just press the goddamn button. It doesn't take a lot of time to press a button, you know. I forgot to buy my cat more cat food yesterday. He eats the uh, canned stuff, the fancy feast. He eats it relatively politely wet food, uh, as opposed to dry food, which he makes a big mess, and he's a big asshole about it. So the poor guy's meowing at me, begging for dinner, and I have to give him some dry food instead. He takes a few bites, and he runs back downstairs and meows at me some more, because he clearly wants the wet food. So, you know, I have to break it to the poor guy that he can't have the wet food, because I don't get it. I don't got none. It breaks my heart that he couldn't have his, he couldn't have his wet food that night. But he was fine, I went to get some in the morning, and he seemed to have forgave me this time. Just this once, he forgave me. Next time I might not be so lucky. Hey, Conatizer, thanks for subscribing, appreciate that. Claire! Sherry, you're okay. I'm glad to see you're safe, Claire. Goodbye, Sherry. BAM! Okay, let's go put the things in the thing. Oh, God damn it! I pressed the read button. Alright, we got all the Pokemon uh, evolution stones in that wall. Now we can grab our paper again. We already read this, so we're not going to sit here and stare at it for too long. Alright. I have it equipped, right? I do. Claire! I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Why do they dress Sherry like a sailor? Do they know that nobody dresses like that in America? They should have dressed her like a... They should have dressed her like a... A gangster rapper. That would have been more relatable. Okay, so let's skip through this cutscene we saw two times already. Okay, I'm glad. Alright, this time, the plan is to try and jump down the break in the, in the, the siding. Siding? What? In, in the railing. So what we should do is we should take, we should take him down here with us and use him as bait. Oh, 
he had a, he had one too many. Haha, <laughs> get it, gamers? It's a it's a drugs and alcohol joke. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh, that's a that's a real ripper order. Where you fucker? I. Uh. I even got baited with her uh, tr starting to get up again. By the way, I'm sure people have noticed this before, but the um the Twitch Moments badge is it, that kind of looks like a communion wafer, right? Kind of? I don't know why, but it looks like a communion wafer to me. You don't know what that is? Don't worry about it. Oops! No, go up the ladder! What's it supposed to be? I don't know! To be fair, I don't even know what moments are supposed to be. The last time I tried to use a moment, it was a disaster. What the fuck are Twitch moments? Twitch moments are when you try really hard to use a new Twitch feature, but the feature is really poorly implemented. So you struggle with it and end up deciding to never use it again. You actually use loaves of bread at your childhood church? Was everyone at your childhood church very fat? Because it's to me it seems like that's what it would lead to. It feels like that's just a way down the down to fat town. I don't know why, but I'd like to imagine each and every member of your church had to eat an entire loaf of bread in front of the in front of the Claire. the the priest every Sunday. Sherry, you're okay. You weren't allowed to sit I'm back down. To until you finished eating the entire loaf of bread. Did you know you can just order communion wafers off of, like, Amazon? If you want to just sit there and snack on the body of Christ, you can just buy it off of Amazon and spend an afternoon just eating the fuck out of Jesus. No one can stop you. down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? Okay. Oh, okay. How funny would it be if the, uh, the breaking and the railing I'm trying to go down isn't even what you're supposed to do? I'm just wasting my time trying to get there. Okay, there we go. Alright, guess we gotta try this again. Someone just followed me on Mastodon, I don't know why. I gotta be honest with you gamers, I don't really like Mastodon. I know, I know this sounds stupid, but I, f I followed maybe like three people on Twitter. And the rest of the content I got from it was all the algorithm just showing me gaming stuff. I... I know it's weird, but I liked the algorithm. Because it showed me what was going on with stuff I was interested in. Mastodon doesn't do that. Mastodon expects you to just follow people. I didn't use Twitter for people. I used Twitter for... ...events and things. Get up, you fucking double-short-wearing bitch! 
I used I used Twitter for stuff that was happening. So since Mastodon doesn't have an algorithm and isn't going to do that, it's like... It just, it doesn't fill that hole for me. It doesn't fill that void. It's very disappointing. Okay. <laughs> oh, this sucks. So we're going to go down there. We're going to go back up the... Hold on. I went down. We're going to go back up the ladder and then come back down. Maybe we'll have a better opportunity. Yeah, if, if you use Twitter socially to talk with people, and you followed people, and you regularly replied to them, then Mastodon works as long as the people you want to interact with are on there. But if you're literally just using it as a glorified news feed like I was, then it's... It doesn't work. It doesn't work if, if you want to use it for non-social things. Very disappointing. For me. Claire! Claire! Okay. Pla Sherry, new plan. Okay. We're gonna put I'm Sherry. Safe, We're gonna put Sherry on the elevator. She's gonna go down and face the monster man. I'm sure she'll do just fine. Wait. Muffy, is that real? Or are you pulling my egg? Shingo, your endorsement does not help anyone's case. Yuji Naka got arrested for insider trading? What? Did he buy too many stocks and fucking Sonic the Hedgehog rings? <laughs> I'm going down there. Stay here and wait for me, okay? <laughs> insider trading with video game companies? Like, what else would he have an inside scoop on? Oh my god, gamers, you know what this means? Both the creators of Sonic the Hedgehog and the creators of Sonichu are in jail at the same time. Down and back up. Ooh, what if I did this? Oh man, she turns around! Up I go. Okay, so we're gonna go back down and go straight for that... ...for that broken off area. Alright, you're, you're not supposed to go down there! Thank you. 
I really thought you had to jump down there. So am I just straight up supposed to fight him? Because I don't have a lot of... Uh, mm. I mean, I guess I do. I have to fight him and then press that button. What else could I possibly have to do? That's the only explanation at this point. Okay, well, let's get ready to crumble. If Todd Howard purchased shares in Bethesda slash Microsoft slash I don't give a fuck, like, one day before announcing that a Skyrim 2 release date, could he be arrested? For insider trading. How does this how does that work? That's my bow gun. Already loaded. Let's put this away. Don't know why I'm bothering to bring the bow gun with me, but I am. The smart thing to do would would be to get that Uzi, but now that I'm pretty certain I can never refill the ammo again, I'm literally never going to use it until what I assume is the final boss. This time we're gonna try to fight him. I don't even know why I'm bothering to pick up this stupid note every time. I guess it's for completionist's sake, I'm trying to get 102%. And then we're gonna try to figure out how to fight a man. I'm not looking forward to this at all. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight this guy. I don't want to do it. I don't. Uh, uh, uh. 
<laughs> you have once stepped into the world of survival horror. Good luck. Conatizer, I don't want to read what you just wrote, but I'm gonna say yes. That ha has to have happened. Okay, uh, this away. Get this stupid bow gun. Sherry, get lost. Sherry, you haven't helped me out one bit. Name one thing you've done for me. I think Claire should be able to take the chief's office chair and roll it roll it down the hall at high speed and and run over the zombies with it. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Some of this. Alright. Don't worry, don't worry, it's normal. Oh, come on, they ran past you! Claire, you little fucker. This is silly. This is silly. Maybe he's more vulnerable to, uh, getting crossbows in the eyeball. Doesn't seem like he is. It's so weird how just shooting him makes it so there's not enough room to run past him anymore. Whereas beforehand, I can just go for a little dash and it's fine.
I can also walk at that speed. Don't worry. Okay. You know, maybe fighting slow walking with slow walking was not a good idea. <laughs> That's such a fucking bonk! Oh my god. What's stopping Claire from coming back up the ladder? Nothing. Other than, you know... Progress. If I want to make progress, I gotta kill him, pretty sure. Damn it, Claire, get the fuck up! It's okay, everyone. Claire only has a cracked skull and, and a concussion and a torn ACL and ALS and COVID. You know, Claire, you could have done that all along and just climbed up the ladder and not had your entire head bone broken. That's just my suggestion of what you could have done if you were in this situation again another time. Alright, we're in the toilet zone, I guess. It sounds like a toilet in here. Alright, let's just get some sewer water in our cracked skull. No problem. You have to go back to sh- Oh, fuck Sherry! God damn it! Claire! Ugh. Look, sh Sherry's dead. Just accept it. I can't believe this. Should have let Sherry gotten eaten by that monster the first time we saw her. Sherry was a mistake. Excuse me, sir, have you seen Sherry? No? Okay. I'll go over here and... I'll find Sherry. I know where she is. I know she's over here. I saw her once. I visited her. She's in the room with all the dead animals. She's in the room with the Charlie Chaplin... The Charlie Chaplin dedication memorial. I'm only mildly dying. If the man who developed the G virus is actually her father. What's wrong, Claire? It's nothing. But I think I found a way out of here. We just have I'm to sure kill your dad. Some place safe if we can just make it out of town. But don't worry, I'll protect you. I promise. But you have to make sure you don't leave my side. Now sit. Now sit. You're ruining my joke, Cherry. Okay. Now sit. Now sit. Now. Now say ah. All right, let's go.
Here's what we should do. Since Claire's skull is beyond repair, and Sherry's skull is still, you know, ripe for the picking, we'll just take her skull and and and, and Sherry can have Claire's skull. It all it's only fair. Claire's much more useful than Sherry. I hope the monster just climbs back up right now and just snatches her away. Okay. Time to take a child in the poo-poo water. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> when she jumped when when Sherry jumped down into the, the green water and it splashed. Part of me thought she just like sunk below it. Like, that was it. And I really wish that was it. Oh, well. Where? Run. Run where? He doesn't even see you! He doesn't know you're there! Why are you screaming and running? Don't! Stand in the poo poo fountain. <laughs> Sherry, where are you? <sighs> Sherry. <laughs> Sherry's dead. She's drowning in literal shit water, Claire. <laughs> oh, that's great. She's drowning in fucking turds. This is amazing. Uh, blue is for poison, right? I don't want this shit. Okay. I'll also put this stupid bow gun away. Oh, typewriter. Okay, before we open this typewriter, let's take a look at everything. Claire, I see it's an old locker. Fucking open it. Jesus Christ. There we go. Sewer manager facts. Oh, I remember this. This is about the moisture levels and shit. We read this during the Leon campaign already. Check everything before we save here. Can I open this bag? I will gladly take those H gun bullets to put inside of my H gun. Oh, yeah. Okay, we get some ribbon and we'll do a save since that is very important. Go! Alright. So we have access to either a lift or a regular door. Let's check out the door first. Alright, I guess I'm going down here now.
Mm, Claire can't read. This is a problem. Man, if I had known this was gonna be full of, like, cool shit, I wouldn't have saved. I would have saved after collecting the cool shit. Oh, never mind, there's a Zombo here. Damn it, Claire! In fact, no, I'm gonna reload. I wasted like two bullets and like a, a, a titty of health. Holy fucking Jesus! Just want to let you know I found the holy fucking Jesus sound. And I restored it to my soundboard because we lost the sound last time. So it's back. Should just an update. It's back. We didn't lose it forever. I found it again. Oh, right, I have to restart. Alright. Let's try this again, this time, without being stupid. Oh, hold on, I'll put these ribbons away. Alright, and this time we're not going to waste all our shots and fall on our dick. Hey, Dad! Just here for shit. Just here for shit and giggle. There better be more shit than just some crossbow bolts. Oh, here we go. There's something. Nice. aren't lockers. You know, for a supply room, su surprising lack of supplies in the supply room. You know, I thought I'd be a little more surprised when I was in here. Just a little bit. Well, that doesn't help me much, does it? Alright. Let's go back to the safe room, refill our gun, and head down that lift. I already got what's in this bag, right? I did. Okay. I went the long way around. Oh, I'm already carrying the fucking H-gun bullets. Come on. There we go. Alright. Oh no, Leon's the sleepy. What happened? You're bleeding. I I, I ran into this woman who I ran into from... this Her name's Ada. Right after that I seriously thought he was gonna say I, I ran into this wall. Someone tried to kill me. Nearly succeeded too. 
Ada went after the sniper, but I I'm worried about her. You gotta find her before s before something happens. But you've been shot. I'll be okay. It's Ada I'm worried about. Don't worry, Leon. I'll put you out of your misery. Oh, this is another, another safe room. I don't gotta worry about Ada at all. I can just do whatever I want. Oh no, this is a poop zone. I want, I want items. Okay, I read this super quick and I thought it said a device to regulate the quality of sausage water. I was thinking like, you know, hot dog water and I don't know what's wrong with me. Health. Health. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. All this shit. So much shit. Put some of this crap in that box. Alright, let's see what's behind door number fun. I don't like how dark it is here, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I like items. Oh god damn it. I need to get my lighter. You'd think with the two pairs of shorts she would have a few extra pockets to keep a lighter in it. Take that. Oh, come on, it's right here, you big dingus. There we go. You know, you'd think when Leon was lighting these torches, all the product in his hair would have just went right the fuck up into flames. Somehow it didn't. We'll never know how. We'll never know how he got away with it. Right? Now, let's see. Is there anything else here? Right, this led to another poo poo room. Let's take a look. Oh! Oh, okay, no, no, I didn't want to go down. Shit! Damn it, and the camera fucked me. Ugh! Oh, and they puke. Well, that's a shame. Oh, 
Well, that was a waste of H bullets. Did they die? No. Yo, know, maybe I should go back and get more bullets. But I'm already here. How do you think Ada's doing? Cool shit here. Just for me. Septic Poe. Oh, right, I can't go in there. I don't want no blue herb. I was probably supposed to go directly after Ada, but fuck that. Imagine all the shit we could find here. Like spiders that are okay because arachnophobia is banned on my channel. And if you're arachnophobic, you're not allowed here. You're just not. You're not allowed here. You're not welcome. Not welcome here. How should I deal with these guys? How should I deal with these spiders? I've not been using this bow gun very much. Maybe he'd appreciate a bow to the uh, to the thorax. Oh. Surprisingly, that worked very well. Okay. Sure, I still had bullets in there. There's gonna be dogs here, aren't there? But we're already here as Claire, because the dogs busted out and they had a big old woof fest. Okay, so that means we should be good to turn around, and I also don't understand why we wasted ammo on the spiders. Okay, good! Let's get back down here. In fact, let me put the bow gun away. I'm not gonna need it.
Get this shit out of here. Okay, so we gotta go look at what's her name, uh, Ada. <laughs> Damn it, check it out, check it out, check it out. It says septic poo. <laughs> uh. Oh man, That's some good shit. Funny. Gamers, look. The door says XD. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Which one's Ada again? Did I already look in this? I already looked in this, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Hey, Leon, sorry, I just spent like 20 minutes looking up there, um... Oh, right, you're bleeding out, and... Ada, and... hmm. I oh, don't mind if I do. Hmm... Bullet holes? Blood? Seems like a great time. Alright, y'all got anything for me? I have one furry crypto coin. And some very hot rounds. Oh! You know what? Let's go back! I have to put my- my items away. Hey, Leon, uh, I found- I found some cryptocurrency and some fire rounds. It's gonna be a little longer. I gotta go back up and put it safely away. Um... You know how it is. I'm sure he understands. I'm sure he won't mind. Right? This piece of shit away and we'll grab our bow gun. So we can take care of those spiders. There we go. All right. Can't be more prepared than that. Hey, Leon, I got the bow gun. I got it now. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, what, uh, what was I? Ada, right? Yeah, okay, I'll go see if I can... Maybe if I, if I see her along the way. Guys, I think this Leon guy might be a fucking whiner. Might be a bit of a whiny... A whiner and diner. I always sneak up on these fuckers without getting snuck up upon. Without wasting my, my, my bullet. My bow bullets. Damn it! 
No! Get over here! Get in my level! Better have more... Okay, I do have more rounds. Right? Yeah, I do. Fucking spider. Who sat down beside her. Don't go up there. Get down from there. Damn it. Oh. It had to happen. Pardon. Don't mind those guys, they just like to stomp around a bit. Oh, look! It's some... It's like... Uh, the Rick and Morty cosplayer. Are you alright? What happened? Get away from me. Get away! I just want my husband's G sample, don't you? Yes. But no one will take that away from me. I want it. No one. Give it to me. Husband? Then you must be a net. Huh? How did you? We don't have time for that. Sherry is lost somewhere in the sewer system. I have to find her. Oh no. What? I told her to go to the police building. She did. Why is she here? Because it's connected to the police building, idiot! Don't you pay attention? Oh, Sherry and the G sample are both in danger. Uh. Step on her a little bit. What did she mean by that? It doesn't matter. Does Sherry have the G sample? Looter corpse. Loot the corpse. Annette is unconscious. Not for long, she's not. Claire, you fucking wuss. You'd be saving everyone so much trouble if you would just do it! <sighs> Insert the valve handle. God. Damn it. Well, back we go. Damn it, perspective. Okay, I'm fine. Oh! Oh, no, I'm poisoned. Um, that's an issue, actually. See, I didn't think perspective would fuck me over, despite the fact that it has in the past, so kind of, yeah... Get a valve. For a second there, I almost forgot what I needed to get, and I was about to turn around. Claire, why couldn't you have just stuck your, your finger in the valve slot and just, you know... I, there was something there before, but now it's gone. I wish I remember what it was. Oh well. Couldn't have been that important.
Uh, where is it? Damn it. Okay, uh, we need the valve handle. We need some more bullets for our gun. I have more acid rounds? I don't. Okay, we'll just... Oops, I don't want that shit. Put this away for now. Damn it. Help, I'm stupid. Help, I'm incredibly dumb. Okay, there we go. I have the valve, right? Okay. For a second there, I forgot. Not a good look. There is my face is itchy. I have once again neglected to shave for like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. My wife hates it, but but shaving sucks, so I, it's like, I don't want to do it, but I don't want to have the hair, so what can you do? What can you do? Can I just pay a man to shave me, and I don't have to worry about it? Can I hire a shaver to give me a shave while I'm asleep? Like, they can just break into my apartment while I'm asleep and shave me in the middle of the night. That would be really convenient. Oh, more green herbs! I will take these. Gladly. I don't like how there's a typewriter here. That's a bit worrisome. Especially since I don't have an ink ribbon, but I won't think about it too hard, but how there's a typewriter and I just got some health items, some grenade rounds. I should probably think about that, but maybe I won't. I guess I'm not interacting with that. Dumping area. They should let you go prone in these games, and then you can just kind of wade around in the poop water. That's probably exactly why they don't don't let you go prone. Never mind, it was a bad idea. It was not a good idea. It wasn't worth even thinking about. Oh, fuck. Well... <laughs> Make me go all the way back, I guess! <laughs> How anticlimactic would it be if both Leon and Claire died of sepsis shortly after the events of Resident Evil 2?
All right, let's turn the crank. Turn the crank. Don't make it jank. Violent. Oh, there's not a there's not a a box here for me to access, is there? Nope. Okay, I just thought it would have been nice if I could access my inventory real quick, but I won't worry about it. Gamers, I I just thought of something. You think anybody on Earth, any human being on Earth, has played Ricochet in the past twenty four hours? It's, it's very possible that many, many, many tens of hours can go by and nobody played Ricochet. Check the Steam Concurrent Player chart. You have to remember, though. You have to remember, though. Those could be bots. Those might not be actual players. There's nine in game right now, but do we know if they're nine real people? That's the thing. What if they're advanced AI ricochet bots designed to play ricochet forever? What do you think the life of a person who plays ricochet is like? Regulator. Okay, let's see. I didn't check up here first. Right, this man. Oh, and more crypto! Oh, yeah! Okay, we read this last time, the sewer man's diary, where he talks about all the boys he loves. Alright. What's that? Oh, okay! I see, yeah, okay, fuck off! Claire, move! I'm just gonna stand there touching your hair? Get out of here! Alright, Leon, I checked, but, um, uh, your, your, your stalker disappeared. Sorry. Also, you disappeared. And Sherry disappeared. And everyone disappeared. Very sad. Gamers, I don't remember where I'm supposed to use the medals. Like, I just completely left my brain. Oh shit, I have to give my dog his medicine. Um. Hold on a second. Alright, sit tight, I need to give my dog his medicine. I'll be right back. Don't count. Don't count your, your fingers. Medicine.
This lazy little so-and-so was just snoozing away in his bed. Didn't want to get up and take his own medicine. What an idiot. What a moron. Alright, let's see. What was I doing? Oh, right! Uh, inventory. Okay, so we have two bitcoins now. We have to remember where to use them, because I sure as hell don't. Alright, I guess we'll go back into the mansion, because that's the only place I could think of that this would be used. I just have to remember where. Gamers, I have a question. Does anyone regularly, like on a on every few months or like every year or two basis, get their ears cleaned out by like a doctor or something? Because I've never had my ears cleaned out like by a professional, and I feel like maybe I should because they're pretty gross. No, no, no. Okay, so that's not a thing that people do. So that's not like a normal thing. Okay, I thought, see, I was thinking maybe I was weird for not having my ears cleaned out. I, I just feel like I have a lot of earwax in there, and it, it just feels kind of gross, and I'm worried that maybe it's affecting my hearing. You know? Okay, where do I use these these coins? Let's see. Figure out where this shit is. I don't think there's much off to the right, so I guess we'll head back to the main area-ish. Okay, um, trying to remember in my head where we used those things in Leon's campaign. And it's not ringing any bells. The bells ain't ringing and they sure ain't dinging today. And we turned on the power over here. There was nothing down here, so this was a waste of time. Okay, so this is not the place. For some reason in my head, I thought it was a place similar to this, but I could just be making it up. My brain could have invented the room. Wait, it might be this one, actually. No, it's not here. I don't think it's here. No, it's not here. Okay. When doctors get, like, sleepy, do they ever sometimes lay down on the operating table and just take a nap? Like, if you're doing, like, a 30-hour operation, like, you don't want to start making mistakes, so maybe it's okay to, like, to, like, lay down next to the patient on the operating table and just take a quick snooze. And I'll just catch a few Z's to make sure you're at your top performance. You don't want to be making silly mistakes when you're operating, so it just seems like it'd be a, it'd be a proper procedure. Am I going backwards right now? Thank you. 
How many people do you think have died? In... Like, restaurant... Freezers? Like, I'm thinking back to when I worked at Pizza Hut, and... You know, in the cool- in the, the refrigerator room, you know, there was those- there was, like, shelves on wheels, and... There's this one shelf real close to the freezer door that would sometimes it would have boxes on it, it would kind of roll forward a little bit sometimes. Like in front of the freezer door, and the freezer door opened outward. So if you were unlucky and you were in the freezer, that shelf rolled forward a bit, you'd actually be kind of stuck in there until someone came by and pushed the shelf back. And, I, and I'm kind of wondering, like, how often do people accidentally get stuck in restaurant freezer freezers and, and fucking die? Like, it, it has to be a non-zero... Like, of course it's a non-zero amount, but I'm trying to think... It has to be a considerable amount, because it's such a common thing to have. Like, like is there a record kept somewhere? Your mom was stuck in a convenience store freezer with a broken ankle. Jesus Christ! See, that's the kind of thing I'm, I'm worried about here. Like, how often- there has to be a metric of this out there, of how many times it happens per year. Oh, right, these guys. Mm. Just go in here. What if it what if it turned out and no one no one really thought about it before, but it turns out every game every game spot GameStop Every what if it turns out every GameStop has like a, fr a freezer room in the back and no one ever stopped to question why? And no one no one like talk to each other to realize that every single GameStop has the freezer room. But what what would GameStop put in their freezer room? They freeze their games for better shelf life. That makes sense. You don't want to get bit rot on your games. not the room. What if it turned out that every single GameStop in North America had a, a, a hatch on the, the floor of the back room and when you open it, it leads you to a little underground tunnel? And the tunnel connects every single GameStop to every other GameStop, and you can just travel from one GameStop to the other just by going through those tunnels. And when, like, you go to GameStop and you're trying to check if they have a something in stock and they don't and then they like call another GameStop nearby to see if they have it what they're actually doing is giving them a signal to um to have the product delivered to the other GameStop through the underground tunnels just in time for the customer like a secret secret functionality to make sure everyone gets what they want. And like you'll be crawling through the tunnels trying to get to another game stop, but suddenly you open one, you open a hatch and you crawl up and it's all dark and dusty and it turns out that not only are these these tunnels connecting every GameStop, but they're also connecting every Funko Land 
So you've just come up through the hatch into an abandoned Funko Land. And the shelves are lined with, like, hundreds of Mario and Duck Hunt cartridges. It turns out instead of repurposing every Funko Land to a GameStop, some of them got walled off behind like brick walls, and they're just still there. And they're still connected in the tunnels. I feel like I'm I'm riding. I'm writing an entry for, like, a, a funny, scary, spooky game. And it has, like, a generic, like, VHS and PlayStation filter applied to it. And a monster appears in front of you and screams. Oh. This isn't gonna have the place. It kind of makes me a little sad that the PlayStation aesthetic is now associated with like, quick slap together Unity games. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there's good ones that use the PlayStation filter. But... I don't know, it just, it's... Why do they all have to do it? What if only some of them did it? What if instead they, they made it look, look like an N64 game with trilinear filtering and that kind of blending on the walls you would see in Banjo-Kazooie? Where the textures just kind of, um... ...gradient into each other? Do you know Claire knows how to develop film? It's true. Development code T103. Due to accelerated metabolism relative to the earlier 00 series, this subject possesses exemplary regenerative capabilities. PHX 016 file data. Okay. Film B. I took a picture of this dead guy. I thought it was funny. I got cancelled on the internet, and then I became a ex rich millionaire boxer. There's no such thing as consequences. Alright, let's put this shit in the toilet. Oh wait, it just turned into files. Okay, okay, we don't have to put anything away. Metals are used in the sewers? Oh, fuck. Damn it. You're right, I just remembered. It's to turn off that waterfall thing. Shit! Now I gotta go all the way back. Okay, let me at least try to get there quicker. Ugh, how'd I forget that? It just slipped my mind. What if one of the photos that Claire developed was a photo of Claire 
developing f a, f a photo. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm scaring myself. Gamers, I'm, I'm, I'm frightening myself. This is not okay. Real quick, real quick, I just wanted to thank you all for watching me tonight. I don't get a lot of viewers, so it's nice. It's nice to see you here to watch me play these ridiculous games. I, I wouldn't play games very much otherwise. I'm too busy sitting too far back in my chair until it breaks and staring at YouTube videos of other people playing video games to play them for myself. Also eating too much Chinese food. Way too much Chinese food. Like, it feels almost like it's just not digesting in my stomach, and it's just gonna sit there for the rest of my life. Like, all them big chunks of onions and green peppers and black pepper pork just sitting there. I've got an idea for a new fast food trend. You know, the chicken sandwich was really popular, like, a year or two ago. So here's the new trend. The place takes their signature burger, you know, whatever it is, the, the Whopper, the Big Mac, Dave's Double. And then they have an employee smush it up into a ball with their bare hands. And that's it. It's the ball burger. And you can have it. You bite into it like it's an apple. I think it's gonna be the next big thing. You just have to get someone on. As soon as one of the fast food places does it, the rest will all copy it. So we just have to get one of them to do it. If we can get one of them to do it, then they're all gonna do it. Toby, why are you screaming? Toby. Toby, what's wrong? Toby, shush. You have no reason to scream. Can you believe this guy? Okay. Get down to the to the poop waterfall and use these medallions, and it would help if I picked up the medallions from the chest. There we go. I think we had to go through Leon's side? Maybe? I don't fully remember. Getting all turned around. Help. Me. This might not be the right side. No, this is wrong. Okay.
This isn't the side of the ladder, is it? Nope. Okay, so it's probably through the middle. The sewers confuse me. The phrase in my in my head, I have the phrase "shit covered shins" going now, because we're wading through garbage, we're wading through poop water, and now I just got shit covered shins going through my head. And I don't know what to do about it. Shit covered shins. Shit covered shins. Shit covered shins. Shit covered shins. Shit. Okay. Oh, okay. Alright, just spiders, it's fine. Shit covered shins, shit covered shins, shit covered shins. Why would the sewer work like this? Shit covered shins! You know, it's fitting. The sewer is the the final destination of all crypto. Oh no, we're in that Donkey Kong Country stage. A little faster, please. Uh, anything cool here for me? A little bit, please. Why does the camera go here if there's nothing cool for me? Um... Does this work? I pressed it. What do you think of me now? Haha, uh -huh, choo-choo! Can't wait to ride the train. Oh boy. Oh man, she found me. I don't know how, but she found me. Sherry, you're okay. Sherry, did your mom give you something called G virus? Either a vial or a test tube? Sherry, did your mom give you something called? Restless leg syndrome. Give it to me. I'll hold on to it for safekeeping. But I really don't have anything. It's the truth. But why would her mom say something like that? Let me in. Okay. I know you have it. Give it to me. I won't rest until I have it. I can keep this up all night. I lied, I can't keep it up all night. Can I fire this cannon? I guess not. Oh, great. I can hear him. Don't worry, Sherry. It's normal. I do this all the time. You see, Sherry, this is what happens when you lie to me about not having the G-Virus. Say your prayers, liars. Sherry, did you know that liars don't go to heaven? They go to hell before they die. Hmm. 
I don't know about that ladder. Uh, Sherry? Sherry, what the fuck are you doing? Sherry, that's gross. Come on. Ah, it's a ticket. You can have the other one, Sherry. I ain't into that blue shit. Sherry, seriously. Cut it out. Sherry, I don't have no time for this. I have a ladder to climb. Oh, fuck off! Come on, Sherry! I don't have all day for you! This ain't even my kid. This ain't even my kid. Sherry, wait here. I'm going to check it out by myself. You would. Okay, I'll wait here, but hurry back. And she never came back. Right, let me loot this place. Sherry, help me find the valuables. I'll split it with you. Ninety-five, five. I get the ninety-five. Sherry, I need you to put your fingers in this keyhole. Only your fingers will do. My fingers are too fat. Away. Where's my funny fire rounds? Where are they? There they are. Alright. There we go. Oh, hold on. We gotta reload our bow gun. Whenever I say bow gun, I feel like I'm saying, like, the. Uh, what is it that, that those Australians say? Is it bogan? Oh, you bogan! I don't even know what that means. Is that offensive? Am I going to jail? Am I gonna get cancelled on Twitter? It's fine. I don't use Twitter anymore. Oh, neat. It's free. There we go. Okay, all these letters and words. I did it. Alright, now we can fucking kill Sherry forever. This one has your name on it. Gamers, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Join me tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern when we, um,. Um... Oh, shit. I beat Tomb Raider. What am I gonna play tomorrow? Um... Crap. I'll think of something. Um, maybe we'll do... Maybe I'll do some kind of one-off? I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about it. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to think about it. I, I have no idea. Damn it! I didn't realize... Ugh, I should have planned this out. I'll figure something out. Tune in tomorrow, 1 p.m. for something, and then we're also going to do some more work on the, uh, the click and play game. Alright, I'm going to go, um, remove all these little chunks of onion from the Chinese food I had for lunch, one by one, out of my stomach directly. Using a very long set of chopsticks that are going to go straight up my hole. Thanks for watching. At least be decent to people.